Hello students and welcome to another video lecture on logic design. Binary data when transmitted becomes susceptible to noise that can alter or distort its contents. Digital systems must be accurate to the digit hence several schemes have been devised to detect errors. Error detection and correcting codes are techniques that enable reliable delivery of digital data over unreliable communication channels. In this video lecture, we will learn about error detecting codes like parity and checksum. Parity is the simplest technique for error detection. All you need to do is add an extra bit to the data that you wish to transmit and call it as a parity bit. There are two types of parity, odd parity and even parity. Let us see how it works. Supposing we have four data bits 0, 1, 0, 1. We simply insert another bit and call it as the parity bit. Assume now that we are following the odd parity system. For odd parity, we will set this parity bit to 1 so that the total number of ones in the code word along with the parity bit becomes odd. Let's try it again. Supposing we have four data bits 1101. Insert another bit called as the parity bit. Assume that we are still following the odd parity system. For odd parity, we will set this parity bit to zero so that the total number of ones in the code word along with the parity bit becomes odd. You may have guessed by now what should be done for even parity. Let's take the same examples. Suppose you have four data bits 0, 1, 0, 1. Insert another bit and call it as the parity bit. Assume now that we are following the even parity system. For even parity, we will set this parity bit to zero so that the total number of ones in the code word along with the parity bit becomes even. Let's try it again. Supposing we have four data bits 1101. Insert another bit called as the parity bit. Assume that we are still following even parity. For even parity, we will set this bit to 1 so that the total number of ones in the code word along with the parity bit becomes even. Let us see how parity works with an example. Suppose you have a transmitter and at the other end there is obviously a receiver. Both wish to send data across a communication channel such that there are no errors during transmission. First, both the transmitter and the receiver should decide upon which parity system they are going to use. Say in this situation, both decide to make use of odd parity. Now, the transmitter wants to send 4 bits of data across to the receiver. She prepares the data by adding a parity bit. As per odd parity bit, she sets this bit to 1 so that the total number of ones in the code word along with the parity bit is odd. She now sends this data across over the communication channel to the receiver. At the other end, the receiver gets the data and the parity bit. She checks the data to verify if it satisfies the agreed upon scheme of odd parity. She counts the number of ones and finds it to be odd. So she concludes that the data is sent correctly. Now of course, this is an ideal scenario where there are no errors. Let's take a look at a situation where there is an error. What if the data that was sent gets distorted and it reaches the receiver like this? Notice that there is a change in a single bit. What does the receiver do now? Well, the receiver will count the number of ones in the data that is received and notices that it does not confirm to the odd parity system that was approved by both the sender and the receiver. 
she labels the data as an error and requests for transmission again. Let's take another scenario. What if the data that was sent gets distorted and reaches the receiver like this? Notice here that two bits have changed. What does the receiver do now? The receiver will count the number of ones in the data received and notices that it confirms with odd parity scheme and will unfortunately accept the data. Here is the disadvantage in the parity scheme since it cannot detect if there is more than one bit that gets changed during transmission. For this reason, parity is called as single bit error detecting code. Simple parity cannot detect two errors within the same word. One way of overcoming this difficulty is to make use of checksum, which is a type of two-dimensional parity. As each word is transmitted, it is added to the sum of a previously transmitted word and the sum is retained at the transmitter's end. At the end of the transmission, the sum which is now called as the checksum is also sent to the receiver. The receiver can check the calculated sum along with the transmitted sum. If the two sums are the same, then no errors were detected at the receiver end. If there is an error, the receiving location can then ask for a retransmission of the entire data. Here is a very simple example just to illustrate how checksum works. You have a transmitter and there is a receiver. The transmitter wishes to transmit 8 bits of data at a time. Let's call each block of 8 bits as a frame. So there is frame 1 and there is a frame 2 as well. The transmitter now adds the two frames together to get a partial sum. Any carry from the addition is added back to the partial sum and recalculated. There is also a frame 3 that the transmitter wishes to send. This is also added to the previous partial sum to get the new partial sum. Any leftover carry is added back and the sum is recalculated. Now this final sum that is generated is called as the check sum. The transmitter will now send the frames 1, 2 and 3 to the receiver. He also transmits the checksum. The receiver gets the data along with the checksum and does the same procedure of adding the frames together. Finally the receiver gets the calculated sum and he compares this with the checksum that was received by the transmitter. If the two sums are the same, then no errors were detected at the receiver end. If any error is detected, the receiver can ask for a retransmission of the entire data. That's all for now. We will look at block parity method in another video. Connect to the classroom for more videos and study material.